Off the draw. Back to the point it comes. Now there is the shot, and seeing that clearly, Noah Patton note on his knees at the top and over to Bernier, and he one-times it, and that was off a stick behind the net. Now back to the point again. Wildcats with a shot up high and reaching up to pull that down. Now Charlie DeRoche will flip it up high. That'll come out to center. A breakaway as Carl Evans trying to come in. A backhander just goes wide as Leighton Carroll can't get to it. So McCollum will pinch in. He kicks it to Watt behind the net. Reynolds will try and chase it down in the corner. Now it's LeBlanc who takes the hit from Watt. And looks like an elbow coming or perhaps a slash. And it looks like it's on the far wall. Back to the point, Spence. Spence is shot. And that was wide. Comes back along the near boards. Loshing comes down to the top of the circle. Shot scores. And that, that found its way in. It perhaps may have changed direction, but a... A uh, screenshot on Noah Patnode, who was deep in his net. And Loshing has given the Wildcats a 1-0 lead on it. was lying at the side, and Moncton Winger fanned on that attempt. And now here come the Sea Dogs on a 2-1-1. Charlie DeRush shot scores! Charlie DeRush jumps up on the attack, and the defender goes to the far side on Lund Corners to tie it with five minutes to go here in the first. Well, Charlie DeRoche, the 18-year-old defenseman, assistant captain. One of the top-scoring defensemen on the club, Poirier and Ball. Up the boards it comes. Now it's back for Pelot. The defenseman drives it in on net and a glove save from Poirier. Will shovel it down the wall. Now Carruthers, his pass, come back to Villeneuve, walking in the shot and the save. Fenner's a 2-1-1 for the Cats. And now there's the pass in front. Jacob Stewart, good play by Charlie DeRoche as he wouldn't allow Stewart to get a shot away, but the Wildcats have possession. And they score from the slot. And that was Owen Stammer. So Stammer with a shot along the ice. Beating Pat Note and the Wildcats take a 2-1 lead with 1.15 remaining here in the first. Leonard banks it back to Drapeau, snaps it off the inboards, comes out in front, and a shot and a good hand save from Lund Cornish, and a shot from the far side, and Cam McDonald has given the Sea Dogs the lead for the first time here tonight. McDonald with a rifle of his shot from the far side, and it's McDonald's third of the season. And the Sea Dogs have a three thing here. With four and a half gone, here they come two on one again. Cam McDonald, top circle, shot, save, and a good one. And then the McDonald gets a, sticks come up behind the net. And there's a scrum in, gets a piece of that. To the far corner. Stewart beats Reynolds to the puck. Stewart feeding it back. Pellot with the shot, scores! And Pellot, the big defender, fires it from the point. Beats Patno to the blocker side. And the Moncton Wildcats have tied it. Five minutes in, Pellot with a shot. And that sailed up high into that top corner. Deep behind the net. LeBlanc throws it back to the point. And then it's Villeneuve and the puck loose in front. Wah banging away and Reynolds as well. A little more regularly here now. That's, that's his fourth of the season. Puck in front, Girard with the backhander and he scores. Nicholas Gerrard with a backhander beating Lund Cornish from 15 feet out. And the Sea Dogs have two quick goals and now have a 5-3 lead. First two goal lead of the night. And the 19 year old Nicholas Gerrard back to the point. There's a shot. It's off a leg. Sea Dogs on a break. In alone is Beasel. Beasel over in a snapshot by 
Liam Leonard and the Sea Dogs have another goal and a 6-3 lead. Wow, the roof's caving in on the Wildcats here in a two-minute span. Liam Leonard. Uh, two on O, and Leonard finishes off as Bezo serves it over. And Leonard makes it sixth. Lawrence now all the way into the corner. He and LeBlanc will bump together. Puck centered in front. Shot to score. It's Savoy. Charles Savoy on a Brady Burns quick pass to the front of one-timer and the it's caving in on the Moncton Wildcats right now. Four goals in a three-minute span. And this time it's Charles Savoy. Dangerous play. There'll be a penalty coming to Girard. Here the Cats come back the other way. Going wide. Daniel trying to center it in front. And it's off. And, it's, and the Cats have scored off. Patno as he banked it off Patno from an extremely sharp angle. And the Wildcats have a goal here with 140 to go. There was about to be a penalty called, and that will be waved off. The Deep now it's sent to the far side. DeRoche comes in, over skates the puck, but goes back to recover it. Savoy behind the net in front. McDonald scores! Cam McDonald with his second of the night. And a pretty play as Savoy finds McDonald and he one times it from in tight. No chance for the luck. One Cornish and it's 4 3 St. John. Well, Cam McDonald will have many multis it around Villeneuve, moves it up on the far side. That goes over the glass and now Jeremy Poirier gets a cross check from. Brady Burns hammers one wide. Now in the corner. Spence and Savoy battling. Burns gets it over and there's a slap shot from Charlie DeRoche. Just rips one from the heart of the slot. And the St. John Sea Dogs have a 9-4 lead. DeRoche has his second goal of the night and fourth point of the season. Lund Cornish. Spence turns the puck over. Here's Bezo coming to the front. And a nice play by Lund Cornish. And then the scramble around Cam McDonald. Look at put the finishing touches on this one. And what a win it has been. Nine to four. The final here from TD Station. And the Sea Dogs coming off the bench. Congratulate Noah Patino. What a performance by the Sea Dogs here tonight. We'll come back with the three stars and recap it all for you. Join us for the post-game show coming up next. This is Sea Dogs Radio presented by TD on 93 CFBC. Two minutes, sounds good. <laughs> 